Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video we're going to be talking about how to create effective landing pages. Now, with that being said, let's just get right into it. Now, this is a little bit different to the content that I usually make. A lot of the time the content I'm making is talking about the very front front facing sides of code outreach, uh, including, you know, how to actually send emails, how to write email scripts, how to scrape leads, how to personalize, do stuff like that, but a lot of people don't talk about how exactly everything else besides the cold email works. Okay. Now in cold email, right? For those of you who've done cold email and you guys know how cold email works, uh, you know, the trust is a big factor, right? Meaning even if you have the perfect cold email script and you have the perfect cold email offer and everything is perfect, if people still don't trust you, it simply will not matter. Now a landing page, right? Is a tool which you can use in order to convey trust about your company. Now on the screen right now, you see the Borks.io landing page. For those of you who are unfamiliar, or I would, I would hope you guys know that there's a, <laughs> my face is on the landing page, but, uh, this is my, this is my marketing agency. I'm going to go over our landing page and why exactly everything is set up the way it's set up. And then you guys can replicate these strategies for yourself and then potentially use it in whatever business you're running. Okay. So let's get right into it. Now, real quick in the middle of your screen, you see four B2B service based co companies, right? So first of all, we're calling out who exactly our target audience is because we want to tell people right away that they are our target audience and they want, we want people to think that we're specializing for these types of businesses. So right away we call them out. Hey, we're going to get right back to the video in just a minute. Just take a look at this. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, I have a paid community. It's called Lead Academy. It's $49 a month. That comes out to be $1.63 a day. For those of you who don't know, that gets you direct access to me and my partner, Tyler, to ask anything you'd like. Weekly live coaching calls, tutorials, and tools on how to scrape several platforms like Crunchbase, GetLotka, Agency Vista Clutch, Good Firms, several hours of on-demand course material, access to store leads and built with for completely free, personal help with your cold email scripts, help with cold email deliverability, help with creating effective angles and offers for your outreach, access to ready-to-use SOPs and training, access to dozens of people who are running businesses just like yours, website and landing page templates, video sales letter templates, access to our real sales calls and real onboarding videos, a real uncensored look into the inner workings of Borks.io, access to all sorts of content, including how to build a personal brand, how to grow on YouTube and Twitter, help with generating inbound quality leads, an inside look into how we're automating, how we're automating and streamlining complex tasks like inbox management and sales process and so much more. So if that's something you're interested in, it's going to be the first link in the description and let's get right back to the video. Then we explain in a simple matter, in a simple manner, what exactly we do. We create scalable and predictable customer acquisition systems that deliver sales calls you can count on. Now, for some reason, a lot of marketing agencies and a lot of software products or a lot of websites in general are not very descriptive of what exactly they do. Now, the last thing you want to do to your prospect is confuse them on what it is you actually do. We create scalable and predictable customer acquisition systems that deliver sales calls you can count on. There's legitimately nothing to not understand about that, right? We create customer acquisition systems. That's it. Okay. When you go down, there's a little sub headline. If you cannot purchase a client profitably, you do not own a business. We create B2B code outbound systems grounded in millennial psychological principles designed to deliver results regardless of the economic climate, world events, time of year on a complete paper qualified call basis. Now, this is structured in a very specific manner, okay? We're telling people that if they not if they cannot purchase a client, meaning they are right now either relying on some sort of unpredictable channel like word of mouth or inbound, they do not run a business, right? We're hitting a pain point for them. Then we tell them again what we do, right? We, we create... B2B outbound systems grounded in millennia old psychological principles designed to deliver results regardless. And then this is a, this is a pain point or an objection. You can call it right. Some people think that because of like the way that the world is right now, it's harder to sign clients. Not true. I mean, it's not as easy as it used to be, but it's not hard per se. And we say that regardless of the economic state of the world, world events or time of the year, that's what we do. And then we give them the last part of the offer all on a complete paper qualified call basis because our offer is we have to get you calls and we're only going to get paid for every call that we book you, meaning it is a performance basis. Okay. Then right here on the right side of your screen, 
we have a your video sales letter qualified right i'm not going to play this right now because you guys can just watch it on your own time if you like but for those of you who are unfamiliar with what a video sell is or a video sales letter it is just a long form video of you explaining your offer and showing off your social proof and showing off your company that people who aren't very familiar with you can watch and understand what it is you do exactly okay that's why that's there now as we scroll down we want to hit a prospect with social proof because someone might have landed here right and immediately they start making up their opinion about what they think about Borks, right? What they think about their agency. Now, the first thing that we want to put in their face is social proof, right? We want to push social proof in their face so they see that we know what we're talking about. So we hit them with not one, not two, but three case studies, two of them being like legitimate client interviews. And we show them that we know what we're talking about, right? Now, here you can see. Nine qualified calls in just two weeks, seven qualified calls in 10 days. Uh, and this one, six meetings in just three or three days, right? So we show them that we know how to get results and we push them. And then with every single one, we have a call to action, get a free outbound on it, which I'll talk about what that is in a little bit. Okay. So immediately we establish that we know what we're talking about because we're pushing social proof. We're helping them make up their opinion about our company. Okay. Now, as we go down, if we hit them with more social proof. These are some of the companies that our clients work with, right? We do a lot of lead generation. Obviously, our clients, clients matter. So we're just showcasing some of the clients that our clients work with. Okay. Now, as you go down, you can see some of our other case studies. These are just like some of our older ones. We have like the, the videos here. You go down more social proof. Now, think about what kind of social proof you can provide as an agency. Obviously, we book meetings. Right. We don't we want to establish that we're not just booking meetings. We're booking qualified meetings. So we showcase some of the meetings that we've booked. Boom. Fifty thousand dollars a month. Boom. Fifty to two hundred thousand dollars a month. You come here. Boom. An AI SaaS company. You know, boom. Right here. Another. Or I think that's the same one. That's uh, fifty to two hundred. Look at this one. Right. Five to ten employees. This was the ICP for that particular client. You come up here. Ten to fifty K a month. Uh, this is going to be another one. If it wants to load any slower one to 10 employees, another 10 to 50 K a month. And you get the point. Like if you want to go on the website, you can take a look. There's a lot of different images here. These things scroll for quite a while, but you can see like this, this company is doing 500 K a month plus, and we're just showcasing the type of meetings that we're booking. Okay. Now we scroll down a little bit. Now we start giving actual information about the company. Now here, we're going to talk about what exactly it is that we do differently. Now the ideology of commitment level aware selling. Now, for those of you who watch my videos, you know what commitment level selling is. Um, long story short, it is the concept of providing value first and then asking for a sales call. Uh, we put a quote up here. The only way I can get you to do anything is by giving you what you want. This is Dale Carnegie. He said in how to win friends and influence people. This is pretty much the core premise of how our agency operates. And we explain exactly how our process works, right? We're showing off our unique mechanism right here on the landing page. Now, this is just information, right? This is just showing like giving substance to our company. Right, we go down some more substance here we hit them with pain points right setting up a cold outbound system is straightforward but that's just the beginning keeping it running means constant testing tweaking and improving and it's just not enough to send out messages securing meetings takes time scale and the ability to truly engage with people boom you know some pain points time is precious maintaining the system and handling responses can become a full-time job it's easy to slip up if you're not sure what works leading to constantly mistakes sorting out system issues can distract you from the core activities of your business now we're just telling them why they shouldn't go with a system. Cause this is one of our biggest objections. What is stopping us from doing it ourselves, right? It's one of our biggest objections. Now we scroll down, give more information about the company. Uh, we basically make it seem as if it's easy, right? Like we make it seem as if our offer is easy to fulfill on, because if it seems easy, they're going to have a lot less suspicion that we can't deliver on it. Right. Then you finish that, you come down and here we have sales assets. Now we're going to talk about what sales assets are in just a little bit, but I'm just going to scroll through. You can see a bunch of YouTube videos here of me and my partner, Tyler, you come down, we have some strategies. You can click on any one of these and this will take you to, you know, lead magnets that we've made before. Then here we have another video talking about commitment, aware outreach. Obviously that's our unique mechanism. So that's why you put it here. And then right here we have more blogs. And then as you go down a final call to action at the bottom of your landing page, right? Usually when someone gets to the bottom of your landing page, they've already consumed everything. And this is kind of like the last chance for them to come in for a conversion. And you're just kind of pushing them towards that, right? that's kind of what that is. And you go down, you have the footer and then obviously a footer is just a footer. We just have like all of the information. And if you want to go back to any specific part, you can. 
Now, let's talk about why everything is set up the way it is. Now, a lot of you will start thinking or a lot of you will think to yourselves that, oh, I don't have that much social proof. I don't have that many case studies. I don't have that many interviews. This doesn't make sense for me, but that's not true, right? That's not true at all. Now, you guys have to understand that in order to close clients, you need this thing called sales assets. Now, sales assets, by definition, are assets that help you sell, just as the name suggests. Now, there's different types of sales assets. Interviews, like these ones right here, are sales assets. Um, right here, like videos of the client giving you a testimonial are sales assets. But those are not the only types of sales assets. These pictures right here are sales assets. These videos right here are sales assets. These documents right here are sales assets. The, this is a sales asset. These are all sales assets. And you get my point that these are all sales assets. Now, the concept is pretty simple. Think about it. What kind of person would have 20 videos on how to do cold email? Obviously, someone who knows how to do cold email. Someone who has no idea what they're talking about would not have the knowledge and the bandwidth to go and make 20 videos on that subject. And therefore, when you have 20 videos on that subject, you start to be looked at as an authority. And that's when you can start getting leads much easier, right, from inbound channels and also close the current leads that you're getting. Now, when someone comes to our landing page, it's our job, or more accurately, it's the landing page's job to convince them that we know what we're talking about, okay? So they see this right here. They have the VSL. They connect the face to the face connection, meaning they know how I look like. They know who I am. I'm not a stranger. I'm not an imaginary person. They see me here. They come down. Boom, they see me again. They see me again, right? Come down here. They don't see me in this one. Then, boom, more social proof that our clients work with big people. They come down here. See, boom, more social proof about a company. Come down here. More sales assets. More information, more information, more information, boom, sales asset, boom, sales asset, boom, sales asset, boom, sales asset, right? And the point is that we want to flood the landing page with sales assets. Now, you cannot control or you cannot easily control how many testimonials or how many interviews you have with your clients. If you're just getting started or for whatever reason, you just don't have case studies, you can't just spawn them in overnight. Right? You can't just spontaneously have case studies, but you can spontaneously make sales assets, which will result in social proof. Now, are they going to be just as effective as client interviews? Absolutely not, right? A client interview is obviously going to weigh more on the social proof scale than a YouTube video. But if you have absolutely nothing, then having these assets is in like drastically going to increase your opportunity to book a client. Okay. Now everything on this landing page is very, very intentional. And for those of you who are in lead Academy, you guys know that this landing page, we give this away as a template. So if you don't even want to do any of like the thinking on how to make a template like this or how to get a website like this, we give away this template. Okay. And that's kind of like the concept of how all of this works. Now, everything on here is very intentional right? It's very intentional. And as time goes on and our company begins to get bigger, we're just going to beef this website up with more and more and more and more, right? Every single time we'll get an interview, we'll put it on here. Every single time we get a case study, we'll put it on there, right? Eventually when we build up a big amount of reviews on platforms like Trustpilot, like Google My Business, we'll put that on here, right? Literally anything that you can think of that builds credibility and trust for your company should 100% speaking be on your landing page. Now, with that being said, I've said this in past videos and a lot of people say this, to not over exaggerate your landing page when you're just getting started, right? To not take too much time on it. Now, is it true that you can run a successful business without a landing page? Absolutely. Is it true that a landing page can help your business significantly? Absolutely, right? Do you have to have a beautiful looking landing page like us to get the same effect? Absolutely not, right? If you have a horrible looking ClickFunnels landing page, but it has these same components, it has a video sales letter, even if it's not fancy edited, but it has a video sales letter, it has social proof, it has sales assets, 
you are going to see a guaranteed increase in conversions, right? And just think about it. It makes perfect sense. Imagine someone sent you an email and the offer in the email made perfect sense and you actually thought it was pretty interesting. You liked it. Would you just automatically trust that person? No, you'd look into it. So you would do one of three things. You'd either search up that person's name. If you search up my name, Borks will come up. So that we have checked off. You'd search up the company name. If you search Borks, right? If you search Borks Lead Gen on Google or Borks Marketing on Google, you'll obviously find Borks. Or they'll go to the website or they'll go to the domain that emailed them. And obviously, if you go to one of our cold email domains, it'll redirect here and boom, you're on our landing page. Meaning for all three situations, we've got it covered. Someone lands here and we have videos and all of these assets to radically and quickly build trust. And that's why we're able to go and do cold email and do these outreach channels and have success with them, right? Uh, and also for those of you who are unfamiliar, I also run Lead Academy, right? A group where, you know, we help people do cold email, like whatever, long story short. And a lot of the time people come in here and they think they have a cold email problem, right? And I can't, I can't express how many times this happened. People think they have a cold email problem. They think they either have bad deliverability. They think they have a bad offer. They think they have bad email scripts. No, you have a great offer. You have a great script. You have great everything. It's just people don't trust you and you need to create a good landing page in order for people to trust you. Okay. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, this is a small channel, so I would really appreciate it if you like and subscribed. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. But with that being said, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.